Cooper, Jason Rossi, Gloria and Baby Doll Gibson, Headbanger Raphael McDonald, the music of Chibo Motto, and lots, lots more. I'm your announcer, Melissa. Take it away, Spring. Boy, that was uh, great, Melissa. Very uh, energetic. All right. Now, were you telling me earlier that you uh, you have CPR training, right? Is that... Yeah, I'm actually CPR certified. Wow, well, that can yeah. come in handy sometime, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I could. Okay. Definitely. Okay, and uh, now, uh, D uh, David, my co-host, how are you today, uh, David? Okay. All right. And, uh, well, why don't we get to our first guest uh, of the day? And uh, we're very happy to have. He's uh, an actor and he's a comedian. And you'll recognize him from all sorts of uh, TV shows like A Hope and Gloria and and all sorts of movies, and uh, please welcome Mr. Taylor Negron. Hi, Mr. Negron. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, Hi. Hi. Welcome, nice to meet Melissa you. And, uh, and David. Uh, 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 and so, uh, how, how are you? I know you had a late uh, lunch just, just before, right? Yeah, they uh, gave me uh, sandwiches, and it was uh, uh, odd. They were okay. very odd sandwiches. Okay, did you have time to digest everything? And uh, it's all. I I'm, I'm digesting. Good. It's all going down in a very odd way. Oh. Okay. It's very uh, good to be here. Uh, well, I love it, him. Oh, that's uh, David. It's, uh, well, it's, it's great to have you here, uh, Mr. Negron. Uh, He's uh, an exciting performer. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, now, uh, I brought a uh, photo of, uh, of you, actually. And uh, that's you, right? Mm -hmm, this that's is me. Doing the comedy. Th uh, what you, you were laughing at something. Here, I was I laughing at the, uh, the idea of, uh, of me. Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 Okay. Um, now, all right. Uh, what? Oh, you were born in L.A., right? I was born in Los Angeles, and I remember when the palm trees were short. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, now, you are also working on uh, Angels in the Outfield, too, right? Uh, Angels in the Outfield, The Final Conflict. Oh, okay. Now, this well, will answer questions from that were left open in the first one? Or? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Like, you know, little orphan children, you know, what's going to happen next? Okay. It could also be called Angels in the Outfield, This Time It's Personal. Oh, boy. All right. Well, uh, please stay with us, Mr. Negron. We I'm want to really bring all our guests I'm, out. I think it's very, very exciting to be here. You have such a very Indo-Euro, Dada, transcultural, techno-nomadic quality on this show. Wow. <laughs> and I like that. Look at that. We've never had anyone describe it that way. That's a uh, thank you. Uh, I'm being upstaged by a sock with a button. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, please stay with us, Mr. Negron. <laughs> we want to uh, introduce our, our next guest. Uh, he is actually a... Uh, a very talented gentleman, and his name is Mr. Chris Allison. Uh, Mr. Allison. Uh, now, uh, you're, you're from where, uh, Mr. Originally? Uh, uh, Naugatuck, Connecticut. Naugatuck, Connecticut. Yep. Okay. And uh, and what are you going to do for us uh, today? Uh, I'm going to attempt to eat this light bulb. You can. Oh, you can. Uh, you know what that means, Mr. Negron? Uh, uh, Melissa, you know what that means, right? Yeah, I know what it means. It means um, that the act that he's about to do is professional. It's very dangerous, and we don't want anyone to try this at home. Okay, so it's professional, it's very dangerous, and, and uh, you should not try this at home. So don't try this at home, Mr. Negron, and, uh, and uh, David, don't try this at home. And uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, you have uh, uh, this uh, a light bulb in there, right? Yeah, I put and the light bulb in in my napkin. And then a, ha a hammer. Give it a, a little oh. tap with a hammer here. Okay. Ah, there you go. Okay. All right. And now you have a broken light bulb, right? Find a nice warm piece here. Mm. Okay. You want to pick out a good one, I guess. Yeah, a nice right? warm piece. Okay. okay. Give this a shot here. No. Oh. Ow. Wow. Uh. <laughs> Have you ever seen this, Mr. Negron? Uh, I remember this on the episode of uh, uh, The Adams Family when Uncle Fester went on vacation. All right, he used to light up the bulb. Remember that, Uncle Fester? My inspiration, my inspiration. Now, now you're also, you, uh, you're a golfer, is that right? Uh, Absolutely, enjoy golf. Okay, and, uh, and is, it, is it going okay? Uh, I, do I have time for another quick little piece? It's delicious. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, boy. Okay. That is unbelievable. That's pretty good. It, yeah, unbelievable. Right? Unbelievable. Well, have a seat, uh, Mr. Thank Allison. You. Now, uh, now, you actually, uh, um, you, you're professionally a clown, right? Uh, yeah. You do that, <laughs> right? And, uh, and, and your wife is a clown as well. Yeah, we work together. We're, we're children's entertainers in the New York area. Oh, okay. And, and do, you, you, do you eat light bulbs no, in the we, circus? We, no, we don't. I, I've only done this a few times. I, I avoid bringing this to the children's birthday parties. Um, 
It's, it's not one that I, I like to do for the kids. Okay, I still hear crunching. Yeah, it it's, it's, uh, stays uh, with you for a while. Wow. Well, so, do you eat the little uh, bits of popcorn that don't pop? <laughs> no, just like the glass. Oh, all right, well, well uh, please uh, uh, keep uh, chewing, uh, Mr. Allison, and uh, we'll be uh, right back with lots more, so don't go away. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome back to the program. Uh, we're just getting started here. Uh, uh, Mr. Negron, there's some of the light bulb is still here. I'll be careful that it doesn't fall on you, uh, some of the broken pieces. Uh, uh, now, uh, we want to uh, introduce our next guest, who I know you're just going to love. Uh, please welcome Rabbi Henry Katz. <laughs> Uh, now, I know uh, you're going to do a special song today about your son, right? right. And you've written this, and it's, it's all... Uh, copyright in Washington, D.C. in 1990. Oh, it's good to get the copyright on that. So, oh, okay. Well, uh, please, uh, uh, without further ado, please uh, sing the song for us. Alan Paul, Alan Paul Cat, the greatest guy in the world for he is good for he is kind for he is nice everybody needs him and i need him too everybody loves him and i love him too Everybody needs him and I need him too. Everybody loves him and I love him too. Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, the greatest guy in the world. Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, the greatest guy in the world. For he is loyal, for he is out, for he is noble, for he's so true. Everybody loves him, and I love him too. Everybody needs him, and I need him too. Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, greatest guy in the world. Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, Ellen Polkett, the greatest guy in the world. Wow. Hello. Uh, had a photo. That's Alan Paul right there, right? That's my uh, son. That's your son. Okay. And uh, now you actually live on a, a street named Paul Street. Right. right? And uh, my apartment is H. Henry, like me. Oh, okay. So that all you works You live on out. Henry Street? No, no, that's the east side. Now I live in the Bronx. Okay. Oh. No, no, it's the Paul Street named after his son. And then oh, oh right? I see. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, uh, Rabbi Katz, you're also a uh, big Star Trek fan, I, I understand, right? That... Well, I follow whenever I have time because I'm obligated with the synagogue, which is the Trachnik Jewish Center. Okay. I'm 23 years there. Right. And, and I am 46 years practicing two other synagogues before that. Okay. But you, but you like Star Trek? Uh, well, I like it because I, I, at the age of seven, I was singing in Romania, Oradi Amara. Right. You want to sing a Romanian song? Uh, well, maybe later we can get to another song, but we, yeah. we want to bring everyone no, out. I mean, just at so the age of seven, I always wanted to sing, but my father was after me, the pedigree of rabbis. He insisted I should not sing, but be a rabbi. Well, we're very glad that you're both a rabbi and you're a singer now. Uh, and, and, but please uh, stay with us, uh, Rabbi Katz. We, we just want to make sure everyone comes out, and we want to introduce uh, our next act, who is known as the uh, One Hand Wonder, uh, Mr. Jason Rossi. <laughs> uh, I won't uh, damage you by shaking your hand. Will I? Uh, okay. No, no, sorry. All right, well, uh, go to it. All right, I can clap with one hand. Uh, yeah, if I could use your desk for a minute there. Oh, okay. Well, let me uh, move the light bulb here. 
Uh, you oh. are an exciting young performer. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, go to it, uh, okay. Mr. Rossi. You're a uh, you're a big guy. Uh, you you uh, actually you're on the uh, uh, Fordham football team, right? Yes. Uh, how's so, uh, how's the team doing? Uh, okay. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We're gonna have a big year next year, probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you're, you're a, a big player on the team. I mean, like an important player on the team. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> how do how do you figure out you could do that? Uh, just eighth grade. I used to do it and just I could never snap. So. You can't snap? It's like my special little gift, I guess. All right, well, well we're going to be right back with uh, lots more. So uh, we're, we're just getting started. So uh, uh, stay tuned for more Oddville. Welcome back to the program. Uh, we're just getting started here. Uh, you're not going to believe what's coming up. Uh, we actually, uh, we have another guest with us right here, and it's Gloria and Baby Doll Gibson. <laughs> now, uh, I'm glad you brought the Baby Doll. How, how old is Baby Doll now? Huh? Ladies, never tell their age. You know how oh. girls are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. Now, you, uh, you're going to do a special uh, um, presentation for us today, right? Yes. Uh, and, uh, um, well, uh, please, uh, uh, let's see it. Okay. I brought with me two little friends. Now, baby doll, you see it, don't fall off. This is Pussy Wussy, and I want you to say hello to everybody. Hi, Pussy Wussy. <laughs> I want to say hello, I'm glad to be here. And I brought another friend, right? Yes. Now, we brought Skunky Wonky. Skunky, say hello. I don't want to say hello. Why not? Because I don't like Pussy Wussy. Why didn't you like Pussy Wussy? Hey, I don't like her at home. <laughs> oh, you made Pussy Wussy cry. Oh, now, Pussy Wussy, don't cry. Let me ask you, if Skunky Wonky apologizes, will you, will you stop crying? Yes, yes, okay. Now, Skunky Wonky, will you apologize? No. I'll take you home if you don't apologize. I'll take you right home and you'll never ever appear in public again. All right, I apologize. All right, do you accept, do you accept the apology? Yes, yes. <laughs> well now, hmm. I think that, that we're both, all everybody's happy, let's kiss and make up, good. And now I think we ought to go where everybody's still friendly. Say goodbye, pussy wussy. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> Say goodbye, skunky wonky. Cry, cry. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, very engaging, uh, Ms. Gibson. And uh, so that shows that everyone can get along, right? If they if they work out their differences. Well, it's, it's fun to do it here. Yeah, we're, we're very happy you, you treated us to that today. You are, here, an you are an exciting young puppeteer. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and uh, now, uh, and I think what also was nice about that, uh, Mr. Negron, was that it was very clean. You don't you do any blue material, right? When no, I do comedy. I have to write my own scripts because my shows are all family-type shows, and if I went out and did off-color material, it wouldn't fit my image. I loved your third act. I was freaked out by that. It was <laughs> really good. Okay. I like when puppets are non-linear. Well, and you, you surprised me there. That third act, I was like, whoa, where did that come from? Well, when I do comedy, when I do comedy, I have to make up my own acts because I can't steal it from anybody else. Everybody else is doing off co material. Okay. Uh, all right, well, uh, we do have another person we want to bring out, and uh, this is a very interesting performer. It's uh, uh, a headbanger, Raphael McDonald. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. And uh, where are you from now? Uh, um, I grew up in Peabody, Massachusetts, about 20 miles north of Boston. Oh, okay. And uh, so uh, you're going to do something special for us, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to play my head. I'll go to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, 
was great. Uh, uh, do you have another one you want to do? Or? Sure, sure, I can play lots. Um, sure, here's a classic. Does that hurt at all when you do that? Uh, oh, after a while, yeah. Oh, okay. well, I'm glad we just did two of them. Uh, uh, all right. Well, uh, but that, that, that was, uh, you know, now you're actually studying uh, chemical engineering, Yes, right? I am. Yes, I am. Okay, but you also bang the head in there. Yeah, every now and then. Comes up at parties, I guess. All right. Well, uh, now we're, we're very excited to bring out uh, a very uh, special band we're very happy to have. They're, they're going to be uh, uh, doing from their sugar, uh, uh, they're going to be doing the song Sugar Water from the Super Relax EP. Please welcome the, uh, from New York, Chibo Mato. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Uh, that was great. Uh, uh,